Sorry. You were complaining you are talking bad about me behind my back. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Ding. Just, oh, you just want to see him a little bit? Just a little bit, though. I feel the exact same way. If I could see him just a little bit, it'd be good. Okay. Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Miley Cyrus here with Liam Hemsworth to talk about our new film, The Last Song. We're going to ask each other some of your questions as well as make up some of our own. I'll start with the first question. Was it hard going from an Australian accent to an American one? I wouldn't say it was hard, but I wouldn't say it was easy either. There were times, and then if people that yeah, weren't I mean, Michael Buster telling you that was I, bad, I, you get mad. I did, a, I did a lot of work with, a, with an accent coach. Yeah, so did I. To get rid of it. We both, we both did a lot of work, didn't we? Mm -hmm. From Kelsey in Wichita. Kansas. <laughs> what is the biggest difference between making a film like The Last Song and an episode of Hannah Montana? In which do you joy, enjoy more? Um, I like making the film uh, maybe a little bit more because it's different than what I've been doing for like a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say Hannah Montana is easier. You seem very athletic in this movie. Just kidding. Did you play sports in high school? If so, which ones? I grew up surfing, so surfing was my main sport. I also played uh, AFL, which is Australian Rules Football. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You ever seen AFL, Miley? No, what you said, it's really mean, like, intense. Yeah, it's a pretty fun sport. Um, and then, like, no, there's, like, no, uh, like, padding and stuff. Yeah, like, they don't they wear, just, like, there's no protective other. gear. It's, it's, it's like American football, but without the protective gear. Oh, Liam to Miley. Oh, crap. Unscripted. No, okay. I'm still going to throw so, up. So, Miley, what would you say that you learnt from me during the filming of the last song? Um, probably just what not to do on a, well, on a film today. and how to okay. seem professional. Different way to look at it. Um, but, okay. Probably, like, everything you did, I'll just know that I should do the opposite of on my next film. Gotcha, good. Um, just, just supportive comments today. Yeah, um, and... Uh, good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here you go. Liam... I know you want to answer that all of them are your favorite, but what is your absolute favorite Miley song? And would you be able to sing a little bit for us and do the dance the party oh in the USA, goodness. please? What's your favorite? Um, and uh, perform. I'd like you to perform a snippet as well. Party in the USA. Can Can I hear like just like a bit? Of party it? in the USA. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you have to do not in my head. Do it. Not in my head, like yeah. Move it right Love that song Move so much. Move it right yeah. I'm just hips. saying, Liam, you heard that song like, when we were yeah. in Tybee when I was recording it, and you were mm, you, kept, looks good. you kept singing the Jay Z part. Don't lie, you love it. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you like when I do that. Jay Z thing. song was on. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. After reading the book, I discovered that Nicholas Sparks actually wrote the screenplay for you, and you picked the name Ronnie. Why did you pick that name? Uh, because my granddad's name Ronald. So we called him Ronnie for short. So because it kind of like it's a little bit like real life with my granddad. I don't think I knew that. You didn't? No. I've said it in like 25 interviews. Do you just not listen to what I tell? Didn't listen. <laughs> good. Good. Mm. Okay, babe. I we made pancakes the other day. What do you really think about the stuff that I make? Do you really hate my cooking, like you say? Or are you just trying to be cute? Um. What do you? Oh wait, yeah. Wait, okay. hold I have a tick. Hold on a tick. Hold on a tick. A tick. You you, you making pancakes wasn't really making pan. I mean, you, you you sprayed it out of a can into a pan. Was it's it good not, though? Yeah, I mean, they so taste, do you think like they my taste good, but I don't think. Or do we go out to eat always because you hate everything I make besides yeah. mini weights? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, it's up yay. Well, it was out of a can. I mean, it was. But like, what about my other food that I like sometimes make? I don't like, really make like the much. oatmeal out of the bag. <laughs> Like that kind of thing. I don't burn it or anything, or like. You 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 warm things up really well. Thank you. Yeah. Like Catherine and Tybee Island. Woo! Our favorite place ever. What was your overall experience with filming on Tybee Island, and any favorite memories? Probably just all the time you're with me, but besides that. We had a lot of food. Seafood was good, uh -huh. wasn't it? We we ate at Stingrays all the time, and yeah, I'd say that was probably we ate there like every night. Yeah. Was it a couple performances? Ever. Which. You, like, did, you did a couple of I did a couple, couple of performances there. You did a Got couple, suckered into that. A couple of performances. <laughs> um, yeah. Calamari was good. Yeah. I like the crab legs because I just like, like getting all my you aggression You know what? Crab legs are kind of annoying because... I don't like opening them, but I'm the master. It takes like an hour to eat it and you get like, Not me. that much meat. It's ridiculous. It's so good though. I like, I like it. Uh, Miley, if you could change one thing about me, what would it be? It's going to be awkward. <laughs> one thing I could change... There's so much going through my mind, I don't know if I could choose this one, but... Picking maybe, the nose. Um, maybe pick the biggest one. Picking the nose. Oh my gosh, yeah, it is true. 
has a real problem. I already told Liam, him. I know he's really cute and all, but he has a picking his nose problem. I'll look over and his finger will be literally in his brain. Like you'll see his finger like popping out like this because he's like so far into his skull. Yeah. And like I'm like, please don't. And he's like, everyone does it. I'm like, I know. And I just want to know when you go like this, like I know we're like driving in my car or something and where you put it. Because I know the windows are down and you're not flicking it out, so I don't know what you do. But I just know he picks his nose all the time and it's really disgusting. Better out than in. Better out than in. That's true. Just not in my car. Okay. <clears throat> I read in your book, Miles to Go, that you never got a question about your hands. You'll get it later. You haven't read my so, book. I know you haven't read my biography. So but how do you that. feel about your hands? How are they connected to your art? Because what I said, Lamb. Gotcha. Since you didn't read Miles to Go before working with me on the last song. I mean, you should have done your work. But um, yeah. my, I was left-handed when I was, like, younger. But my dad was like, you shouldn't be left-handed because dad is left-handed. And he was like, you're going to have to learn the whole world backwards. So you need to learn how to write with your right hand. So I started being right-handed. you did tell me this, actually. I did? Yeah, I think yeah. so. So right-handed. So mm. and then I was like, well, no one really, you know, whatever. I don't know why I said that. I don't know. It's, like, kind of cool. So I do, like, a lot of things. But I learned guitar left-handed, whatever. Then I switched. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like they're, you know, something that's... I write with them and you express yourself with them. I think they're just like a cool part of like who you are and I feel like you like by the way someone uses their hands and like their emotions and expressing themselves, like you know a little bit more about them. Mm -hmm. It's really deep and really weird and whatever. Unscripted ones are tough. What do you really think about all my friends? Yeah, you've got some crazy friends. They're fine though. Yeah. What do you think about my friends? Do you think they've With got the hygiene, there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was going to say that. I was going to say, do you think they've got bad Harris hygiene? Harris is kind of disgusting. Harris has got, like, ripped clothes on. Yeah. Uh, long toenails. Th yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like really dirty feet, which I noticed since he yeah. has tattoos all over him. They're, We've like, got black friends. at the bottom of his feet. I've got kind of, like, homeless friends. <laughs> <laughs> You've got, like, kind of, like, posh, like, Gucci super. friends. Abby in Houston, Texas. Uh, which one of you messed up your lines more? Yeah, right. You didn't even know your lines. That's true. <laughs> I didn't know it until I went on set. That was actually, I never got a complaint except from Julianne one time. I was like, can you please read your script before you come to work? Because you actually <laughs> read the script before you tell us you want to sign on to the film. You, you pull it off, though. I, didn't, I, oh, I, I haven't read the script. I haven't read the book. I've never actually seen the full Hannah Montana movie. I told you that. I'm not very prepared. We all do things oh, differently. We're done. Well, thank you, Miley, for, <laughs> thank you, for coming Liam. today. Thank you to... To movie phone and, <laughs> and to you for watching and sending your questions. Please check out our new movie, The Last Song. Please. Please. Thank you. Yeah, we're hilarious. Hilarious. I know, it was an honor to be in the presence of us. Are you hungry? Do my hands are nope. freezing.